I'm going to talk through uh, the process of downloading and installing the plugins from the uh, Play On Plugins website. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up the Play On uh, application itself. Um, and inside that application is the Play On Media Server in the General tab. So you'll see that it's running. So let's go ahead and stop that because effectively you need to add plugins while that's stopped so that uh, after we're done adding the plugins, um, the um, Play On application will see those plugins. So then we're going to go ahead and go to the website and we'll click on www.playonplugins.com and in that website you'll see a download section so we'll go ahead and click there and we'll pick the HGTV plugin and at the bottom of every post within the download section will be a link it looks very similar to this if you don't see that link um, you must be registered for this uh, website so go ahead and register to the website and once you're registered and click back on this link you'll see the download link so we'll go ahead and right click that and save as and we'll choose the desktop because that's the easiest place to find it. Um, and there we go, it's downloaded. So if we go in the upper right hand corner over here, you'll see that it's downloaded. And we'll go ahead and open up my computer. And we'll go to the C drive. We'll go to Program Files x86 if you're on 64 bit, or just the regular program files if you're on 32 bit. And we'll go down to where it says Media Mall. And up at the top, we'll see that there's a plugins folder. Open up that plugin, and you can see that I've already installed the Revision 3 plugin installer from their website, and this automatically puts that plugin in this directory. Um, then I'm going to go grab that plugin that I put on my desktop and drag and drop that into this folder. Boom. And what's going to happen in uh, Vista is it's going to say, you can't do that because effectively the program files directory is protected. Um, and you have to elevate yourself to administrative permissions. So if you don't get this dialog and it just doesn't come across or it says you don't have permissions to do this, then your account does not have perm administrative permissions and you'll need to make sure that it does to be able to, to, to do this. Or you might get a different dialog that actually asks you to log in to an account that does have administrative permissions like the administrative account. So if you don't have that information, you'll need to get it from um, whoever installed your uh, operating system. Then you're going to go ahead and click continue and voila the plugin will show up there. So then we go back over to the play on inside that application you will see a plugins directory. Up at the top you see that the plugin is actually there and all we have to do is make sure that the enable plugin button is checked go into general settings and then start the server. Effectively, by starting the server and putting the plugin in that directory allows PlayOn to see the plugin and load it. And now, if I go over to my TV, I can see Revision 3 and HDTV as a folder on my PS3 and Xbox. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, good luck with PlayOn.